hey guys, I wanted to take a break from practicing for Nationals and mess around with a deck that I have loved for a very long time, Arlong, um, and a bit of a twist on it. So uh, I think typically Arlong was played as an aggro deck, which makes a lot of sense. He plays cards from his hand while he attacks, um, so you can kind of build tempo while being aggressive, which is a nice mix. I think that's one of his main strengths. But I know that when the starter deck 9 first came out, um, with the Yamato leader, um, it introduced yellow Wano cards, with the other Wano cards obviously being green. There was kind of a lot of talk on, you know, what does Wano Long look like? Uh, is that a viable deck? And people built it different ways, I think. Ultimately, Arlong never really made a splash on the scene one way or the other. Uh, but I do think the kind of control version of Arlong is pretty fun uh, and could be, you know, a nice... Uh, a nice interesting play to bring to locals, especially now that we're in OPO5 with the addition of the Sky Island cards. So just kind of a couple of card choices here. Um, since we do have partially the Wano engine, we have our Momo, we have an Ezo for our 2Ks. Uh, the 4-drop Yamato is a great, great card. Ideally with this deck, you'd want to go second. Uh, you'd let your opponent play their cards, uh, and then you can start to punish them with the Yamato clear board, waste their resources um, while avoiding taking life as much as possible, because later on we do have the Gadatsu, so we can remove uh, their board with Gadatsu. Uh, we also have the 9-drop Yamato, so once we get to 1, we can heal with that Yamato and hopefully sustain ourselves a little longer and get some powerful removal off that. Um, in addition, we have Kurobi, which is just like the best card in Arlong. I, I would keep this at four if, if there was space for it, but uh, with some of the other resting cards, like 3000 volts Armaru, it's not as required. But the fact that you can just rest a blocker and go, you know, 14k with Arlong is is amazing. Like, this is such a good card and great off trigger. Uh, we got Django if you need to do that double swing, which is going to be really good against Sakazuki. And then a couple trigger cards just to bounce out the deck. We do need some blockers. So Sanji is, is our only blocker. That's probably like the one thing I would adjust here. Maybe a couple more blockers to help with the Katakuri and the Anel matchups. Um, uh, Cracker just to kind of get things off trigger, play things with our leader ability, uh, Anel, for that surprise rush. Uh, some 2Ks from the Sky Island Package, the Sky Island Searcher, and Amaru. So that's roughly the list. I will be fully honest, like I threw this list together in like 20 minutes because I played a lot of Arlong. Uh, and so I kind of have the gist of, of how the deck works and what matchups work for it and what matchups don't. I don't think it's like a super competitive list, but I think it's a fun one and it's a very different way to play Arlong. So let's jump into matches. I'll show you how, guys how this works. And hopefully we can take some wins off of some high skill OPO5 meta leaders. All right. Let's see what we can find. Okay, this is the matchup that everyone cares about, Sakazuki. I'm gonna call it now. This is like my second time practicing this matchup as Arlong. Arlong's gonna be the Sakazuki killer, for sure. Guaranteed, putting my money on it. That sucks, I was really hoping for a four drop. Um, a four, four drop uh, Yamato. Sorry, it is uh, you know midnight when I'm recording this, so. so. The brain's not really working, but I did want to put a video out there on Arlong because he's the boy and we love the boy. Yamato. Okay. I'm going to do something a little crazy. I'm going to be controlly. I'm going to get rid of the threat. Let's go. We're going to deny resources. I think the the big threat here um, in this matchup, and it's probably super obvious, is 10 drop Kaido because um, if they get that, uh, they they really have a lot of free reign to just dominate. They get they get the four cards. They um, have a 12k body on board. Like there's really nothing you can do. So as a control deck, oh god, we're just getting all two gays. What's happening here? Um, jeez, oh this is a whiff too. Not how this was supposed to go. But let's keep searching here. Let's look for something useful. That's what we need. That's what we're hoping for. And I mean. Might as well turn this sideways because it's going to die anyways. Okay, so. Since we don't have a Gadatsu, um, we can take a little bit of life because the Yamato's still at play. And we'll get them in two turns. All right, yep. They're there. Oh, they're leaving those up. Oh, they're going to play Luchi here. Yep, there it is. I wonder if I can... It's probably not worth it. I 
I was gonna Kurobi and then like maybe or or swing with Kurobi Django. Uh, you know what? It's always good to establish characters against Sakazuki because you don't have a lot of opportunity to do so. And then we're gonna get Django on there. We're gonna do another swing there, get a two K out of his hand, get the Bardo out there. All right, I think he probably used like three or four two Ks. He sent a couple of them back um, with his trusty Rob Lucci. So. Um, if he double swings here, we're actually in a really good spot because we can get some value out of that Yamato. Uh, heal one. Ooh. All right. Yeah, so if he turns both of those sideways, I'm feeling good about that. Um, I'm not going to trigger this. I want the 2k. I don't really need the body right now. Nah, I'm not going to trigger that. So we're, we're about to heal one. Actually, now that I, I regret that, I should have triggered one of those. Um, but that's okay. You live and you learn. Okay, he's at 2 life, we're at 2 life. He's at Tendon, we're at Tendon. He's got Ice Age, we're screwed. But that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh, we do have Kurobi here. Um, so that can get through the Hina, or sorry, the Rebecca. I always mix those two up because they come as a pair. Um, so 10k with that. That's it to, to hold up my Kurobi for like a final push later in the game. So let's do this. Do 7k. He doesn't have that many cards in hand, so um, we got a good card size here. If we take this, we're in a... Uh, Alright, he didn't take it. So we might be a little screwed here. I can counter out of this one. It just takes everything I have, and then he just goes 5k and I lose, so whatever. All right. Yep. GG. Another close one. I think my one of my bigger misplays there was, um, well, really close, was not triggering one of the Satori's. I uh, probably needed to get a Satori just to like have a little more, more uh, a little more board presence. May have been able to kill like a Heen or something, and just. Um, Count around a little differently there. I don't know. That probably would have helped, especially since I knew I had the Yamato coming. Um, but overall, I think like that was that was pretty close. I mean, next turn he had 8k counter, or sorry, 9k. He could get to 9k with his counter. He was drawing one more. Um, if I had survived that, I could have uh, swung and Kurobi the Rebecca and gone with Yamato. I mean, yeah, I could have done like 9k, 10k. That would have done it. For sure, 9k play Kurobi. That gives me four down left to, um, no five down left on Yamato. That would have done it. I don't know. This is just a fun video. All right, control versus control. Who is the better control deck? Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion it's not gonna be Arlong, but you know, let's let's figure it out. Let's play with it. Um, we're gonna take our only option there. We do have the Gidatsu in our opening hand, right? So, ready the way Anella's. He plays beige. Interesting. I guess just to like play body. Um, you know what? I'm 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 with it. I'm for it. Actually, no. Wait, I have a Shura. I don't need to do that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave him at four, in case there's something I can pop interesting. So, play our Shura. Let's whiff. I think that's all part of life. It's how we do it. You're not whiffing in an Arlong deck. Did you really build the deck correctly? Seems a little too consistent if you're uh, actually hitting your searches. No, not 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 the deck. Not the spirit of Arlong. Okay, he is also leaving me. All right, we're both just kind of sharing the same strategy here. I want to take the beige. Maybe the first one. And I hit him for 6k. You'll never see it coming. He took it and he saw it coming and he got a brulee. Is what it is. I was playing in Eggman's tournament earlier today and had a very brutal 435 minute game against um, in an L. I was playing Red Purple Kid. That tournament lasted for, uh, or sorry, that, that well, the tournament lasted all day, but that match lasted for like 35 minutes. I was actually on the stream for that one, so you can probably check that out when he uploads that video. Um, but I think I've had just about enough of an L for, for the day, but I, I did want to record something. So we're getting this out there. 
Uh, I'm tempted to just play this Ezo. Kill the own before it gets online. You know, 5k with the Shura. I mean, this is this is peak. This is peak strategy, right? If the guys at Nationals aren't doing this, what are they doing? I'm not going to bring them to one life. I'm goofing around, but I'm not feeling that goofy. Yeah, you don't want to give the uh, the Yamato too much value. Uh, he just cleared my board like it was nothing. Well, I've got a Yamato. Oh, I should have swung into that first. Tried to bait out a um, tried to bait out a, a a card from hand. The thing about NL is you're. You're in a really tough place against him because you don't want to bring him to one life because he gets like double value off the Yamato. You, um, I got two here because I, I want to Shura later. You, and then when you kind of go for game, he has three shots at go, getting trigger because he's at um, two life and gets to heal. And like any one of those triggers can really just ruin your whole attempt at going for game. So you could have like four bodies here, five bodies here, and have like so many attacks lined up. Sanji, Thunderbolt, done. Like, or Sanji Beige, done, you know? And then you just, like, fully expose yourself to a comeback uh, because you were kind of prepared for this. You were going all in, preparing to kind of end the game. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's rough. Okay, I was about to use that. I've done that before. Um, all right, we're going to get some, we're going to do some spicy. All right, this is spice. Okay. Is one up. I wonder if that's intentional or if you just only had the the five and the four to play. And you wanted that Sanji out there. I guess you could have gone 10k. I don't know. I'm just getting more response. Because here's my thinking. I could play my own Sanji, which would be good. Uh, I really want to kill that Yamato, which would be extra good. We're gonna we're gonna prioritize killing the Yamato. All right, he let that go. That feels good. So five down in this Yamato. This is gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh wow, I I was not confident that that would work. Uh, he's got six cards in hand, which isn't that many. I uh, but he can heal and I can't, right? So my goal is to. Oh shoot. That like seemed not worth it, right? Because that was rested. We could have like went six game with the story. Uh, I can't defend this. That felt unnecessary. But you know, give it to him. Let's see if we can find another Yamato. That would be amazing. We can. not And that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Let's. Um. Oh. But what we can do. Is this play a Shura? There's a Yamato. It would have been my next card. Whatever. We'll get a 2k. And then. Hmm. Oh, okay. I missed my math. I would thought we could play this on here. We need a 9 down for that. Um, so I am going to play him flat. I was going to do the, the classic Arlong uh, double attack with Django, play two characters for trigger, but you need nine down for that. That's how you know it's been a while since I've played Arlong. All right, the free swing into a... Uh... Yep, that's fair. That's all fair. All feels good. You got the in now. Uh, I'm gonna cycle that through. He's still leaving one Don up, so either he's buffing this um, Elthor or he's had it for a very long time. Yeah, I actually don't know what the plan was there, if I'm being honest. Times to just click the buttons and hope things work out for me. It's probably not a su super great showcase for this deck, but I do believe that this is a fun way to play the deck. Maybe not a successful way, but definitely a fun way. Um, I think 
we're gonna bother this now. Because there's not much else we can do. We just gotta hope he doesn't have another, um, what was it called? Uh, another Amaru. Alright, he's like out of cards, right? So if we can live through this, which is a huge if. If we can live through this, oh, we got rid of the Thunderbolt. That was he. That would have ended our run. Um, it, this last card should be an Elthor. He's just been bluffing. So he, if he didn't top deck an armor right there, which we got one there. It's only seen one. I think they only run one. Um, he might be playing a second and now. I got a block here, so he has the armor or Thunderbolt. I'm just screwed. What he doesn't know is we have our own Anel. Because why would we? Dotsu. Sanji, oh boy. Yeah, that's it for- Ooh! Okay. Uh, at that point, should we just play this? Uh, oh no, wait, I have Amaru. Duh, what am I doing? And I, I can actually meet the effect this time. Oh, sick. Question is, does this go? Let's do six here. Shirahoshi. Thunderbolt Shirahoshi. Amazing. That's how the cookie crumbles. Go seven here. If he has the Amaru. Or not the Amaru. God, I keep getting those confused. The Elthor. Now's the time to use it. He's thinking. Yep. Alright, the Elthor. Okay. As long as this isn't beige, we're good. Yes! Superior control deck, I'm calling it. Everyone, if you have an NL deck and you're going to Nationals, scrap it. Build control Arlong. I won one game on Sim. That's all that matters. He wants a rematch. I'm going to say GG and deny it because we're not going to go a second time because he'll probably win. Um, that is the deck. I won one match. So I think that's enough to say that this is a video and I, and I, played something here um i love arlong i was goofing around because it is like almost 1 a.m here but i i felt like taking a break from from all my practice and trying to figure out how to make red purple kid a little less bad into sakazuki um to play one of my favorite decks in a way that um i was really trying to make work in opo3 um when the yamato starter deck came out like i i really really thought that you could kind of play this control, or sorry, not even, it'll be before when the Yamato, I guess both then, and, but also when the, the Yamato 9 cause came out, because I really, really thought that you could play this kind of control style version, um, get for control, deprive them of their resources, and then start healing with the 9 drop Yamato, and then just kind of go for game in like subsequent big swings. And it was just really, really hard into, um, into like some of the aggressive red decks. It just like demolished me and then later on in opio 4 i did other versions that were focused on drawing a lot of cards like i actually even had um you can be my samurai i think is the event was called but you can rest two characters and draw them so like if you're if you're playing like weak triggers or sorry a weak searchers like pudding or um like east blue nami you could then use that character that event on them and rest them right away. So like play them for cheap, rest them and then draw two more cards. So it was really cool combos that were just, <laughs> did not matter into Katakuri because he would just play 10 mom and then you were done. Um, Cause you wanted to like finish that game super early and I just didn't have a build to be aggressive. He, like you, you needed to have the Cracker Sanji kind of big bomb package to have stand against Katakuri who got a huge buff in LPL4 from all the two Ks that became searchable. Um, but yeah, I haven't touched this kind of version of Arlong in a really long time. I, I like, I jokes aside, like I do think there is a kind of shell of viability in here. This, like I said, list was kind of thrown together in, in 20 minutes, um, just based off of my past experience with the, with the deck. But the, there is like a shell of viability in here, especially against Sakazuki, who's playing like Luchi. And then if you can just immediately punish that Luchi with a Yamato, four drop Yamato, and then swing into it, like that's that's good value for you. Um, if you can play nine Yamato into some of his cards, that's good value for you. Obviously, there's the Krobi and the Django and all the stuff that helps you get around all these blockers. Um, and Gadatsu, if, if you can stall long enough to get value off that. So, I mean, if you're concerned about Sakazuki, if that's like a big thing in your locals, 
come in with the Arlong Spice, like you might have a shot. I think Purple Luffy is a tough matchup. It's just really good into an L, so I think we're kind of mimicking a part of an L here, and, and so I imagine it's really good to us, and I, I do think that's true. Um, but I think it's good in Stock Soki. I think you can't win into um, an L, as we just saw, based on my you know, brilliant gameplay there. And I think you could win into Katakuri, right? Like you have the Crackers, you have Sanji, uh, you just have to play aggressive in that matchup. We just don't have blockers. So if you're kind of making a home version of this and maybe using this as a template, I would explore other blocking options because those are really important in the yellow matchup uh, just to kind of sustain you a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I think I think this is something. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you like it. I'm, you know, excited to go to nationals in a couple of weeks and um, hopefully going to before then try out some more silly decks, more interesting kind of twists on existing decks and uh, kind of share those with you guys and hear what's sticking and what's not. And hopefully one day someone will win a locals based off a list or at least the idea of a list that I had and they will tell me about it. Um, and I think that would be pretty cool. Anyways, have a great one, guys.